can't see Brother Benedict as my spiritual leader on this earth, you know. He's, I just resent everything he stands for. Ah, you see, pride again. The worst sin of all. Well, that's the way I feel. Look, only by bending your will to others, and above all, God, will you find your true self. I've tried. Not enough. Your lack of belief is sheer pride. God knows I've tried. Ah, you see, you believe. There's a core that resists giving up your will. You must continue to pray, even though you don't believe. Loss of faith can be temporary. We've all gone through it. Right. If there's nothing else, God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Only me, boys. Come in. Fellow Sebastian, this is Mrs. Kane. This is her son, Owen, whose company we're about to have the pleasure of. Not yet shaven, and now already a scoundrel. He'll not be that when we send him back to you, Mrs. Kane. How long will it take? As long as is necessary. Kill and cure is my method. There may be pain the curing process, Mrs. Kane, but I'm sure we have you back in. Indeed you have, Brother Benedict. He was my last hope after the others. Two of them, both in jail. I let him away with murder. This is all the thanks I get for it. If I'd been like some mothers I know, I don't know how often he's run away. I'm sick, sore, and tired of it. I just can't cope with it anymore. I've tried everything else. You see what you've done, boy. I hope you're proud of yourself. Brother Sebastian, we show Master Kane to his quarters. 
Watch him. He has a tendency to lift anything which is not nailed down. Too bloody right. This is you, Kane. Personals in here. Put these on. I'll be outside. And the boy's father? He's in England. Since? Two, maybe three years. How did he treat the boy? Yeah, well, he'd give him a smack sometimes, you know. For wetting the bed. Smack? Yeah, with his shaving strap. And, uh, is there anybody else now? No. You mean to keep the boy in check? No, there's nobody. Your train, Dublin's a long walk if you miss it. Thanks very much, brother, for all you're doing. I can't tell you what a weight it is off my mind. It's what we're for. Piece of goods. The boy? The mother. Ah, oh, I should warn you, the boy takes fits. Uh, how is your father? Oh, fine. Fine, thanks. It's hard to tell from letters. He always puts a brave face on things. You can see I'm fighting fit. Good, good. You're looking well yourself, Michael. Thanks, Molly. Well, I'm off. Some of us have to work. That's right, uh, Molly. Hmm? Please, just thanks. Bye now. Goodbye. Thanks, Molly. Right. Tea. And angel cake. The elephant never forgets. Yeah. Just a bit. Oh, sorry. Is that my fault? Yes. Mind my ears. I hate water in my ears. All right. Uh. Yeah. Sit up. Bed. Come on, step elbows. One, two, three. You remember that? Me up to my knees in the stream, lifting you across stiff elbows, like St. Christopher. Damned if I could do it now. Is it a. Is it back? You're as bad as your woman with the orders. Has none of the power come back? Not much. That's me till I go. Who's talking of going? 
Just how I feel it, Michael. Don't be daft. It's just as there's no one to take over the farm. What? Ah, never mind. There wasn't a happier man in Ireland the day you joined the brothers. It's just as it'll have to go with me. The faith is more important than everything else put together. How do you get these scars? Me da. What for? Come on, boys, come on! Come on, Kane! How many months are you gonna trade on this one, eh? Clean for three months, yeah? And write to your uncle. See if he'll give you a start when you do get out. Send in the next, will you? Okay, Kane. You were saying the last day about your mother. Tell me that story again. I want to get it right. Which? The pillow. She was pissed, that's all. Her and this man got pissed, and I was in bed. And she came and put the pillow over your face, yeah? I told her I was having a fit. And she said? Nothing. If it wasn't for you, you bollocks. Didn't you say that? I don't know whether to believe you or not. I don't give a fuck. But try and cut them on the night, right? Come up out of the ground of its own accord. Now we can get rid of this one for a start. Come on, pick those there. I see you give him cigarettes. Who, yes, sir? Come on, you know it's against the rules. Come on. No, yes, sir. You too. Come on.
Don't let me catch you with this again, O'Donnell. Come on. Hurry up. No maids. Uh, these things are bad for the lungs. How many do you smoke? Even one's too many. Fuck me. This place smells like a piss house. Cain? The stain. Ooh. Leave me alone, O'Donnell. Are you okay? Fuck off. Patrick, that'll do. The weeds are starting up. was a leak. If you're in trouble, boys, put up your hands. Don't sit there like prunes. Brother Benedict wants cane, sir. Get on with your work. Kane, the problems are on page 45. How many did he give you? Six. A full half dozen. What was it for? Did you? Well, what made him think it was you? He said it was me initials. What was? Okay, Owen Kane. Sebastian, I was expecting Brother Benedict, I must protest in the strongest possible terms about the thrashing you have just given young oh, Owen Cain. thank you to calm yourself. He did not sign his name to any slogan. Okay, it's a slogan in itself. They simply add it to the end of things. Credit me with a little intelligence. You know and I know that we will never find the real culprit. As long as somebody gets hammered, the okay is just a little iron in my own. Benny dies. Okay, now the boys know Benny is risen. K.O. 
Anybody who says he loves children doesn't understand them. It's time he learned that discipline is love disguised. And the stick shows we care, you know? But when you do use it, you must use it to hurt. Which, uh, which class should you be in? Yes? Brother. Who's going to tell him? Where were you heading to, anyway? Home. But you were always running away from your home. Why? Why? Come in! Ah, uh, Brother Sebastian, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Forgive my appearance, but I've decided once and for all to catalogue my books. A man with one language is like a man with one eye. How did the funeral go? Oh. Is anyone left at home? No, no, no. My mother died a few years ago. I know, I know. Your father was a good man. Yes, he, he was, uh, he was the best man I ever knew. Sad, sad. Forgive me asking, did he die intestate? I'm sorry. Intestate? I'm surrounded by the education, he's subnormal. <clears throat> did he die without leaving a will, I mean? Everything goes to me. Ah, good. These are hard times, brother. I sometimes think we should have the boys neutered to save on laundry bills. <clears throat> The sheets man, you know. Mm. Is it a big farm? Um, after the debts, there'll be very little. Ah, uh, it all helps. Others are sorely in need of it. 
brothers. I remember your vow of poverty, eh? Huh? I'm, uh, I'm thinking of leaving. Freedom is an affliction. Who or what, Brother Sebastian, is tempting you to leave? The vow of poverty. Oh, no. What then? My, my lack of faith. Everything. Everything. This place, what it stands for. A place that can treat a ten-year-old boy as a criminal. Uh, we have our favours to a young Owen Kane, as a... Uh, you know what that can lead to? No, I don't know what that can lead to. Do you believe at all in the church? A boy who's old enough to go to communion is old enough to break the law. But if they don't realize what they're doing? Diminished responsibility can only be claimed by Egypt's and nuns. On the contrary, brother. What we run here is a finishing school for the idle poor. We teach them a little garden a lot of fear. Oh, do we finish them all right? That's what I think. Uh, your trouble, Brother Sebastian, is that you can think. Brother Benedict, I am very capable of thought. Ah, you're overwrought, Brother. Like it or not, I'm your spiritual father. Join me in my walk every day next week, and we'll discuss your difficulties. How about that? If you decide to have a moose, you know, it can make it difficult for you. The church in Ireland, Brother, has as many fingers as there are pies. Someday, brother, I'm gonna fucking do you. Oh, come on. After all I said was all you're good for is mining the clothes. That's it. There's no money in the pocket. You don't trust me. Yeah, you don't trust me either. So God knows what would happen to you if you went into the water in your condition. <coughs> Kelly! That'll do! They said prayers for you in the chapel when you were away. What, for me? Well, for your dad. Was he OK with dad? Yes, he was. He was. We were very good friends. Friends? You were glad that we died? No, I wasn't. Have you ever thought of running away again? Nah. You always get caught. What about me taking you away? Brother Sebastian or Michael Lamb today? I think Michael Lamb might be best for business. Right. Sit down. How are you, Michael? What can I do for you? <clears throat> if you can tell me how much. Oh, not exactly. Still some debts. I'd say I wouldn't be kicking the arse off 2,000 quid. If you'll pardon my French, brother. When? For a couple of months. It's the way the law grinds, brother. Why the urgency? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies, eh? I get the picture. Look, um, I know more than you think. I can let you have something in advance. How much? This much?
It'll cost you, mate. Let me have your signature right there. Oh, sorry. It's between you and me. I'm doing you a favor. Had a call from your superior the other day, Brother Benedict. What? Yeah, I thought that might interest you. Don't worry. I said I'd rather talk to you before doing any business. Thanks. Thank you. You did the right thing. Sorry about this. They get horny with age like old celibates. <laughs> you wanted to discuss something? Uh, yes, but we've got plenty of time for that. Once we've got over this phase of yours. What I... What, what I... Thanks. What I'd like to know is how your father's death comes into this. I've just been reading Tacitus again. He says of his father-in-law, Felix opportunitati mortis. Is this the case with you? I mean, it's lucky in the time of his death. Did your father die just as your doubts came, or had you been waiting for him to go? I don't know. I suggest you think about it. Above all, spend some time in your knees in prayer. You know? and see you tomorrow. Brother. Good night. of the brother. Name's Michael, right? But you tell a hundred brother, can't he? I was your age, my father held my hand. Live here on. Hello. Hello. Um, I'd like a wedding ring, please, not too dear. Ladies and gents. I've lost mine and I don't want the wife to know. Oh. Anything there take your fancy? Hmm. See anything like it? Like what? Like the one you lost. Oh, uh. That's it, that's it there. Right. Let me see your size. Is that comfortable? A little bit sharper on the edges. That's fine. Till death us do part. For rich or for poor, that's great. I 
I shouldn't bother with the box. In case your wife finds it, you know. Oh, yeah. How much is that, please? 30 pounds, please. You're not from Dublin? No. Just down for the day? Mm hmm Shopping? Cheerio. Thanks very much. Bye. Did you ever have a watch? Sterling, please. All of it, sir. You know that. You tired? Nah. Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention? We will be docking in approximately 10 minutes' time at Hollyhead. Passengers are reminded to remove all of their luggage. We hope you have enjoyed the crossing and that you'll sail with B and I again. Nice crossing. Yes, on holiday. Yep. Seems a bit of a lad. Sir, your bag, please. Jesus on. Call him my brother. We can't draw attention to ourselves in any way. Why do you never say thank you? Certainly not. Isn't England lovely? Wales. Did you remember to bring your Epilum tablets? We'll take one now then. Is this free? Yep. Have a horse like that once. Where's the bar? Up there. And where are you off to? The jacks. the door.
Water, it's dad. And listen, what father would let his child of ten smoke? Can you not at least wait until we get somewhere safe? It's safe here. Jesus. Where did you nick these? On the boat. Go back to your seat. Cold trousers. Nah. Could you measure the boy's waist, please? Well, they're all graded by age, sir. How old is he? Eight? Eight? Eight, me ass. I'm ten and a quarter. <clears throat> what size of drawers would fit a boy of ten and a quarter? Drawers? Shoes hurt? No. Well, work properly then. Cowboys are out of fashion. Please. Certainly, sir. Myself and, and the boy. Would you like to register? Thank you, Mr. Abraham. That's room 2522. Thank you. Pajamas. Me ma doesn't make me go till 12. Bully for her. Go on. If this is going to work, there has to be rules. Fuck the rules, brother. That's rule number one, language like that. Rule number two is that you've got to go to bed when I say. Would you look at that? And... Did you put new clothes on over that lot? When's the last time you had a bath? I don't swim like the rest of them. Anyway, the water won't be hot. This is not the home. Come on. Hey! Oh! What are we going to do? The House of Parliament? Zoo?
Come here. Listen, let's get one of these for a rainy day. And uh, some glue and a scalpel, please. Oh, we should be easy to find in a city of 14 million people. No, I'm not a spatter. Actually, we've just run away from a remand home in Ireland. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Just because you want to look at women's things. Honest to God. A possible two million pound super level right. bill for water for the water. So a tip. And now we'll never get lost. Waterford Co-op, the country's yeah. second largest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's better. Ah. Here. Hey. Hey, is that for me? Thank you. Where did you get it? You've no money. Jesus Christ, the one. Look, if we get caught at that game, the police will be swarming around here like flies, and that's it. It'll be an express trip back to the home for you in prison for me. Oh, I thought you had more sense. Big fucker. Big fucker. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, it's all right. I promise you. It's okay. It's all right. Hey, come on. Come on. It's okay. Look, look, look. Listen, listen. It's it's the loveliest present I ever got. Honestly. It is. It's lovely. But why couldn't you nick a dearer one? Hey? Never again, right? Promise me, never again. You bastard. TDs have condemned the shooting and have urged the Department of Foreign Affairs to make a vigorous protest to the British government. The search is continuing for the 10-year-old boy who went missing from a special school for boys in Galway earlier this week. The head of the school confirmed that a member of his staff, a religious brother in his early 30s, is also missing. It was revealed today in a statement from Gardaí headquarters at Dublin Castle that Gardaí are treating the case as kidnapping. Morning. What's wrong? 
I don't like this place. What's wrong? Let's move. Okay. If it makes you feel happier. Is this right? I'm afraid so, sir. The money will last longer. Actually, Owen, it's something we're going to have to talk about, you know? I mean, it's not going to last forever. Come in. Come in. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. O'Leary. Here's your fresh towel. Thank you very much. Yar, Irish. When Mrs. Finley said there was a Mr. O'Leary in number 10, I said to myself he's sure to be Irish. What part are you from? Uh, Dublin. Isn't he the lovely boy? This is my son, Owen. What age are you, Owen? Ten. A man, almost. But right enough, Mr. O'Leary, what part of Dublin are you from? Well, it's not Dublin itself. It's a place outside. Swords. Swords? I don't believe you. Isn't that where my sister is? Whereabouts in Swords? Do, do you have a nice try? <clears throat> do you smoke much, Mr O'Leary? Oh, just on holiday, you know. It's bad for you and a bad example for the boy. There's nothing but God's clean air should go into the lungs. Where did you say in Swords? The main Dublin road. How long will you be staying? Oh, just a couple of days or so, you know. Oh, well, I'll see you again then before you go, please, God. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Will do. You'll be wanting to know where you'll get mass in the morning, just round the corner and to the right. There's masses on the hour, right up until one o'clock, for the lazy ones. <laughs> <laughs> God. Do you smoke much, Mr O'Leary? Knows the old bitch. Is she the owner? She's a hotel detective. Come in nice and close, ladies and gentlemen. All you've got to do is find the lady, change the lady, call you what you like. The easiest game in the world, earn yourself a few bob. To make it easy, I'll show you where she is. There we are, one, two, three. Anyone want to put their money down? Don't need a brain of Lord Jules to work it out. It's nice and easy. You can have a go on there, my old son. 50 on that one. Put your 50 down. 20, 50. 50. There we are. Let's have a look. Hey, I told you it was easy, didn't I? Get the money out. Get your pound back, me old son. Mm. I'll pay out 50. I'll tell you something for nothing. I'll pay out more money here than you get down to Social Security. <laughs> All right. Anyone want to have a go? Put your money where your mouth is, ladies and gentlemen. Easiest game in the world to show you one more time. Chase the lady. There we are. You can have a go, son. One, two, three. There we are. Well, I'll have the tunnel on that You're one. You're having a tunnel on there, okay? What's your last one? You're having a go as well. Because you know how easy it is, didn't you? There we are, look. Oh, that is bad luck, that is, mate, isn't it? But don't worry about it. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I'll tell you what, it's your old pill, look at Oh, Jesus. Get the cops! All your brains must be in your bum. I hate being taken. Stupid bloody Irishman. The bastards. We've no luck. Slay the hand. The quickness of the hand deceives the eye. That's not how they do this. They just robbed you. What? I'm 
sorry, we're staying here. Hey, come on, get the sheet. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Sebastian. Yeah. Uh, the steam strikes again. Oh, Rodney, this bit ever so damp. Come on. Just don't piss the bed every night. <laughs> Respect to you, mate, even I hate the place. Hate the whole British army to boot. So what do you do? As little as possible. Michael. Paddock's the name. And this one on me, man. Thank you. Do you live? The state provides. I drink as much as I can, so I don't have to eat as much. That'd be two pounds ten, gents. Oh, it's my turn. No, I live for free. Nice little squat round the corner. What? I fixed it myself. Costs naught. London's full of them. Yeah. I might, might be looking for a place myself, you know. I haven't got a lot of money. Look no further. No chap left our place this morning. Off to fucking India. I suppose I could get a job. Don't draw the dull old man. Oh, no, no, no. That, that would lead to complications. Suit yourself. The place if you want it. You're not too fussy. Detectives investigating the kidnapping of the ten-year-old boy from Galway are now extending their inquiries following a new development in the case. In a statement issued today by Brother Benedict, the head of the special school, concern was expressed about the misappropriation of funds which had been designated for use by the order. It is expected that additional charges will be brought. Police stations in Britain have been alerted following a report that a man and small boy fitting the descriptions were seen in Dunleary boarding the ferry to Hollyhead. Mrs. Bernadette Kane, the boy's mother, confirmed to police from her Dublin home that her son is an epileptic and may be in need of medical supervision. You were sent the last day about your mother. Tell me that story again. Which? Hello. Hearing this man got pissed, noise in bed. If it wasn't for you, you bollocks. Bow. 
you done me wrong, kid. Uh, your dirt, man. Just dirt. Okay, okay. Come on. Got it out. That's a day for doing some work. Work? It's school work. Oh, come on, me. I have to start sometime. Now, sit down there and read. Peter is here. Jane is here. Pat likes the water. Pat likes fun. Come into the water. Come, 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 come. Okay, smarty pants. Right. Here's something a bit more difficult. Start there. The first word's Daedalus. Um, Daedalus contrived to escape, but he could not leave the island by sea. Island. So he set to work to make wings for himself and his young son, Icarus. Icarus, that's right. He roached feathers. Hey, what? Roached. Show me. Wrought. It means to work on, fashion. He next equipped his son in the same manner and taught him to fly. Icarus, my son, he said. If you fly too low, the damp will flog your wings. And if too high, the heat will melt them. Keep near me and you will be safe. As he said these words, the face of the father was wet with tears and his hands trembled. He kissed the boy, not knowing it was for the last time. The boy began to soar upwards as if to reach heaven. The nearness of the blazing sun softened the wax which held the feathers together. Vainly he fluttered with his arms. As his mouth uttered cries to his father, it was submerged in the blue waters of the sea. I feel funny. Did you take your apple? Lie down flat then. Do you want me to read to you? Nah, it's crap. You say that about everything. You're smart enough, you know. You just never went to school long enough to learn your teacher's name. Miss smell quick, you. Ah, uh ha, -huh. Is there nothing you're interested in? Arsenal. Would you like to go and see them play on Saturday? Maybe they'll give you a trial. <laughs> nah, I'm too young. <laughs>
It's okay. It's okay. You've had an attack. How do you feel? Oh, only listen. We're going to have to leave, otherwise they might start asking a lot of questions. Do you think you can walk? Back to the match. Only don't be stupid. Nice and easy. Easy. Hold on. Okay. Son's been ill in there. We're trying to get out. It's like a maze, sir. Follow me. Yes, sir. Could I have some of these, please? You'll need a prescription, sir. Well, my doctor's in Ireland, you know, and we're over here on holidays. I'm afraid, sir, we can't give these without prescription. How can I get one? I can give you a list of GPs. One of them could check with your own doctor. Thanks, now, but there's no urgency. Not yet, anyway. Excuse me. Where can I find a book on epilepsy, please? Just over there, sir, under neurology. This is Michael Lamb. Michael? Do you remember me? Of course. I had some money left. Oh, I would doubt that. Yeah, but you said there was about 2,000. Uh, wait a minute, Michael. Is the boy with you? Yes. Is he all right? Of course. Uh, just hold a minute, Michael. Are you still there? Yep. Look, if there is any money, where can I send it? Can I trust you? Michael, of course you can. Is it true you're in England? Well, you can get me at the... How do you know I can trust you? You know me well enough by now, Michael. How am I going to get this money to you? Are you in London, Michael? Hiya. How do you feel? Starving. <laughs> Come on, lean forward. Sit back. That's it. Okay. Yes. Uh, hello, reception. Could I have tea and sandwiches for two, please? Room 10. What sort of sandwiches? Uh, what, chicken. Chicken, please, yeah. Okay, love. Thank you. Well, when you were sleeping it off, I went out to a bookshop to try and find out something about it. 
There's no real cure on. But do you know what it said? It said that a typical symptom was a thing called a fugue. Now that means you can travel for days, weeks, without knowing what you're doing. <laughs> that makes us out to be a couple of fugers. <laughs> hey, watch your language, brother. Sorry. Was I bad? As bad as I've seen you. At least you didn't wet yourself. Do you remember anything about it? Nah. The only bit is just before it starts. It's weird. Like what? No, when you're writing on a blackboard. And your nail scrapes. Oh, yes. No. It's noise. I'm not with you. Everything's right. The right colour, the right smell. It's great. Sounds a bit daft. It's hard to explain. Yeah, so it seems. But I think I see what you're getting at. I'd like to be like that all the time. What, a permanent fit? Even now? Nah, not now. Right, I'm your fairy godmother. Three wishes, what would they be? A million quid. No, no, no. Real things, things you'd like. To be able to fly. I said real. In a plane. <laughs> OK. To be able to swim. Mm -hmm. To score for Arsenal and play the guitar. Yeah, hey, that's four. Well, then my first wish would be to have four. Oh, sneaky. How's the little man now? Oh, he's, he's much better, thanks. Oh, good. This lad needs fattening. He's a rickle of bones. Is Mrs O'Leary at home? No, Mrs O'Leary's uh, dead. Oh, I'm sorry about that. God rest her. Did you get mass then? Oh, yes, yes, we did. Was it Father Flynn said it? Uh, I can't remember now. Bald as an egg, you can't miss him. That's him, that's him. Father Flynn always says that a young boy, after a good confession, in the state of grace, is one of the most beautiful things in this world or the next. Can you get Radio Aaron? Mm-hmm. I like to keep up with what's happening at home. Trouble in the North is terrible. <sighs> Awful. And now this kidnapping business. Have you heard about that? I think I heard it mentioned the other day, actually. A man about your age and a young boy it's terrible what some people get up to. How long did you say you'd be staying? Uh, a couple more days. Listen now, uh, thanks for the teas. Don't mention it. Good night. Sleep tight, darling. Good night. Is your nose on? Nah. I'm not moving hotels again, I'm not. She hasn't a clue, honest to God. your own. What do you mean? Are you with anybody? I have a boy with me. So every cripple has his own way of walking. He's my son. <laughs> We're very broad-minded here, you know. It needs a bit of tidying up. There's a sort of kitchen in there. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's my Newton. He shares with me. 
Shit, man. Now hold your horses. I want you to meet. Uh, oh, I forgot. Michael, Michael. Michael, he is moving in here. Oh, he's moving in with his little boy. Oh, he's so touchy. You know, with a spot of imagination, this could be a palace. How are you? <laughs> you big bastard! Oh, oh. Big bastard! What's the matter? What's the matter? I told you to run away! I know fags! Hey, listen, easy, easy. Oh, on, oh, on, please, please, easy, easy. Listen. We're mates. I'd never run away from you. I'd never run away from you. The, the people that love each other must trust each other. Okay. I've got good news. What? We've got a place to stay. For good. The money will last longer. Crap. This is better than a hotel any day. Hmm. We're here. So I notice. This is Owen. How do you do? I rather think I had a little too much to drink last night. I'm going to have to get a job. You can't be put in England, can you? <laughs> it's OK. There's other things. Haddock might be useful in more ways than one, you know? He's a bit of a crook. Knows his way around regulations. Maybe he could fix us up with papers or something, you know? A new name. What good would that do? Would make us normal. If you're going to adopt somebody, you need papers. And then we could get you to a doctor for a prescription. Or maybe into a school somewhere. I might know. It's what the real world's about, on. Don't you worry your head about it. Go to sleep. Grandma and me used to make spoons. Yeah. You're all bones. That's what she used to say. Don't eat those for your breakfast. It's for your lunch. And write me an essay about the home. And don't light the fire, eh? Just in case. No one forget me tablets. And don't forget your tablets. Bloody hell. Cheese again. Every fucking day. Cheese. Complain. What's the point? Should I make them up myself? <laughs> Where are you from? The North. Are you one of us? I'm not one of them.
Hey, honey. Uh, how's the working man? How did you get on today? He got on fine. And we got on very well, didn't we, Owen? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, well, um, Abyssinia. <laughs> um, Haruk, I must, I must speak to you sometime. Uh, what about, old cocky? I'm not sure yet. Well, I'll come back when you are, sure. Otherwise, wasting my time. Carry on. So how did you pass the day? Smoking, eating. I was bored. Did you do the homework I sent you? Your man told me not to bother. He did, did he? Said it was a crap idea. Um, I, I give the orders around here. Do it tomorrow. I don't think this is going to work out. Leaving you for so long. Anything could happen to you. To your man's here all day. That's what I'm afraid of. He's a laugh. And she came and put the pillow over your face, yeah? She was pissed, that's all. I told you I was having a fish. Comes the breadwinner. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Smoking. Smoking what? If I catch you interfere with that train again, so help me God! Men! I'm not my mother. Oh, Jesus, I don't believe it! Owen and I had quite a nice talk, brother. Listen, smoking fags is one thing, but Jesus, Owen, drugs! Did he, did he touch you? Mm. Did he, did he do anything to you? Owen, how much did you tell him? How much did you tell him? A 32-year-old religious brother is still being sought by police in the Galway kidnapping case. Detectives flew to London yesterday following confirmation that a woman in a Bayswater hotel reported that the missing pair stayed there for a number of days last week. Amid growing fears for the safety of the boy, the head of the special schools spoke out yesterday. I'm deeply concerned about this boy, not just for his physical well-being. The man who abducted him, and by the way, his father died recently, is under stress and is capable of anything.
like to be like that all the time. Roman and fit? Everything's right. It's weird. It's great. going to have to leave on. A moose. Where's the last place they think of looking for us? Japan? <laughs> no, he eats it. Home. Now that they're looking for us here. But not to home. home. Okay. Okay. Owen Kane. To Ireland. Keep your eye on that. I'll be back in a second. Don't worry. Tell me again about just before a fit. Nah. You said it was great. Where are we heading, Mick? I told you, the north. Is it away from the home? Oh, yes. Good. So tonight we'll stay in a bed and breakfast. And tomorrow I'll take you to the best beach I know.
Hey, mister. Hey, which one do you want to marry? Hey. Come hey. on, Mick. <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Okay, Samson. Come here. No, go on. We'll be leaving in a few minutes. You want some of these? Is that? Take one of your tablets first, now. Come on. Mick, this is great. You fancy a swim? Oh, Mick, you fuse! Oh, yes. Come on, I'll go in with you just in case. Ah, oh, shit, no togs. Doesn't matter, we'll go in our drawers. Come on. Much. What the hell was everyone talking about? 